So obviously a lot of the court's influence and sort of you know power comes from having you know speaking with like one voice or at least having some sort of agreement. Now obviously now the court is more divided along lines and a lot of the biggest issues are decided by Kennedy. I mean there's four on one side, four on the other, and Kennedy's usually the side vote. Um, as the public and I guess as the media starts to become more aware of this and uh, and more of the court's decisions seem more like Kennedy's decisions rather than the whole court. Do you think that will damage or affect the court's reput reputation? Well, you know, that's a great question. And I have a view that I think is different than a lot of people. I think, you know, when, when Chief Justice Roberts uh, testified before the uh, Judiciary Committee in his confirmation process, he said he thought it was very important for the court to be unanimous as often as possible. And that you know, you need, we needed to have bipartisanship. I don't think so. I, you know, I, I think these are really hard issues. You know, and, and people disagree about them. I, I don't see any reason why uh, compromise is necessarily always the right answer. You know, you hear a lot about this in the political context. In Washington, in Washington it's like there needs to be more bipartisanship. I don't know why. I don't think bipartisanship is so great. I mean, there is this culture in Washington that says. If the Democrats say one is the right answer, and the Republicans say 10 is the right answer, automatically the right answer is five. You know, sometimes some people are right and some people are wrong. Five is not always the right answer. And, and, and I think, um, you know, we, we um, do a disservice to the public by telling them that, you know, compromise is always, is always right. Now, believe me, I think compromises are often right. 